And hello everyone and welcome to The Longest Journey. Now, if you are an adventure gamer, you have probably heard of The Longest Journey. If you have not, you should have. This game is routinely considered to be one of the best adventure games of all time. In fact, the most recent poll I saw, which I believe was a couple years ago, had The Longest Journey at number two on the list. It was right behind Grim Fandango. Now, the way The Longest Journey gets to this position is because it has a very good story. It's, the story is set in a very well-realized world, and it has a number of very well-detailed and interesting characters in it. So basically, it hits everything you would want. In fact, April Ryan, the main character in The Longest Journey and the one we will be controlling, is probably the best realized character in gaming. I would even go that far as to say that. Now, The Longest Journey is an older game. It came out in 1999, so about 15 years old. It was written by Ragnar Tornquist and released by Funcom, back before Funcom started doing MMOs like Age of Conan and The Secret World. Ragnar Tornquist, in fact, was also the lead producer for The Secret World. There was a sequel to The Longest Journey released. It was called Dreamfall. And last year, in 2013, there was a very successful um, Kickstarter run to produce the third game in The Longest Journey series to be called Dreamfall Chapters. And that one's supposed to be out later on this year. So I figured it was probably a good time for us to take a look at The Longest Journey. Now, there's one thing that you do need to be aware of here. Uh, the Longest Journey, like I said, it has very interesting and detailed story, worlds, and characters. And the way all of that comes through is through dialogue. There are a very large number of dialogue trees that are very deep. There's a lot of conversation in the game. This makes a long game. Um, there are puzzles. It is an adventure game, of course, but the puzzles are few and far between compared to the conversations you're going to be having with April and her friends. So, just letting you know about that. Now, all I'm going to do today, probably, is the prologue. And the prologue will be shorter than a lot of the other chapters to follow. But it's a good introduction, it'll show you how the game runs and that sort of thing. So, I think it's time for us to get started and to begin The Longest Journey. So, you've come to hear me tell a story, have you? If you please, we would love to hear one of your stories. You have seen so much. You have lived so long. <laughs> oh, so good of you to remind me of my age, child. No, don't worry. I am an old woman, but I've lived a long and fulfilling life. And I do have stories to tell. Which story would you like to hear? A true one. A true story. All my stories are true, child. There are enough fairy tales in the worlds already. There's no need for me to make up more, believe me. Tell us the story of the balance, then. <laughs> you want the story of the balance? Oh, that's a long story, child. And not one I'd venture to tell at this hour. But perhaps I could tell you a story that I heard a long time ago. A story that became a crucial turning point in the history of the balance. And that set in motion wheels that, to this day, are still turning. Please, yes, that does sound like a story we'd like to hear. Very well. This story, like all good stories, begins where it ends. In a tower. In a realm that is no more.
you know, with that flashing blue and orange symbol, I kind of feel like I'm supposed to be making a um, Paragon or a Renegade decision here. Which, yeah, this game's a few years before Mass Effect. But on the other hand, if you heard the old woman talking about the balance, yeah, that's kind of where we are here. So, in some respects, that's what we're going to be dealing with. Also, it's important, if you noticed, she said there are enough fairy tales in the worlds. Plural. Worlds. Again, that's very important to what's going on here. And yes, the game takes place in the future. Now, this is April Ryan, the character we will be controlling most of the game. Notice the dragon motif on the rug behind her. And April Ryan, she is a art student at the Venice Academy of Visual Arts. And, like I said, she's the character we're going to be running through this game. And she's having what may or may not be a nightmare. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm dreaming again. You know, for once, just once, it would be nice to have a decent night's sleep without waking up screaming from a bad dream at 4 a.m. Well, April, considering that your other choice is that you're standing out in the wilderness in your underwear, I don't know that being in a nightmare is so bad. Now, the game, actually, if you notice, it doesn't look bad for a 15-year-old game. Um, April here is a very low polygon count, but beyond that, it looks pretty good. Postcard pretty. There's a storm heading this way. Even the weather sucks in my dreams. I feel so charmed. Well, if we're going to be stuck in this dream, we may as well look around and see what we can find out. What's happening? Well, I can tell you're not from California, April. That's an earthquake. Oh, perfect. I guess if I don't do something to save that egg, I'll suffer seven years of bad karma or something. It looks reptilian, but it can't be. It's much, much too big and... and... I don't much care for reptiles. It's as dry as a bone. It'd probably snap right off in a second. Oh. <gasps> oh, the suffering we must endure. What? Why do you take such pleasure in torturing us? Torturing you? Who are you? We are the voice of all trees, the spirit of wood and leaf. You're a talking... tree? No, a tree does not talk. At least not in your tongue. The tongue of trees is the language of wood, root, and leaf. Who are you then? Like we said. We are the voice of all trees. Whenever an injustice is done, we must speak for the tree, if we are present. It's the branch. I shouldn't have broken the branch off. Oh, what does it matter anyway? There is nothing more to be done for us. We are simply here to provide comfort in the final passing to Earth. We? I only see one of you. We are one with our host as we are all one spirit, but legion. Yeah, uh, thanks for clearing that up. We do not expect you to understand. You are human. Yeah, for a, um... They did a good job of channeling an int here for the tree. To be fair, this game came out two years before the first of Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings movies, so... Yeah. What it. happened to the tree? Oh, the pain. As the battle raged, we... Battle? Between the mother and black chaos. She was only protecting her child, but it would not back down. And the force of their battle shook the mountain. The brook that fed us was led astray, and without water, we began to wither and die. 
what's the deal with the egg? Egg? What egg? Oh, of course, the child. Whenever the mother was absent, we were entrusted with the safety of the child. But now, withered and without strength, we can do nothing to help. We have failed the mother, and we despair. Our shame knows no bounds. Who are you again? We are the Wood Spirit. We come to all trees in the hour of great need to provide comfort and aid in the passing to Earth and to give a voice to those who suffer. Our time is running out as we speak. The passing to Earth is about to begin. Leave us now. What about the egg? Oh, it is too late. Without sustenance, we do not have the strength to bring it safely home. We have failed. And the Earth will know our shame for all time to come. Are you always this glum? We are here because it is too late. The passing has begun. Leave us. Please. Isn't there anything I can do to help? Oh, we do not expect a human to come to our aid. Lose the attitude, okay? Just tell me if there's anything I can do. It is futile. We need water, but there is none. Not after the brook changed course. I'll find a way. Don't panic. We do not panic. Unlike you, we accept our destiny. If, however, against all odds, you do succeed, we will carry the child safely back into its nest. Do not make a foolish attempt on your own. It would spell certain misery. So, yeah. I do like the fact that the um, wood spirit is kind of um, absent-minded in some ways. I'm an artist, not a botanist, but I'm pretty certain this tree is dead. We're close to it. Well, let's look around here and see what we can find. There's a nest back here. Look at that. It's a nest, padded with large scales. Very large scales. For some strange reason, I have a feeling I should get the hell out of here before the tenants return. This is interesting. I've never seen a scale this size before. I'll keep it as a souvenir. April, do you normally keep souvenirs from your dreams? Okay, we won't talk about that. Now, this is obviously the brook that changed course. There's this crack here. According to the, um, spirit, there was some kind of battle that split the rock and changed the course of the stream. Fresh mountain water. Back in the real world, they'd probably charge 15 bucks a bottle for this. Well, obviously we need to get the water from here to here. So we can do this. And... What we're seeing here is actually about the level of um, puzzle versus conversation that's going to take place in this game. Like I said, a lot of this game is taking place in conversation. You can buy items in the inventory and then I use them I think I just made a funnel. Cool! I'm so proud of myself. We're proud of you too, April. Oops. Went to click out of the inventory to close it and move to the next screen. This should do the trick. Well, let's see if that did any good for us. Hello? Hello? Leave us be. Are you okay? We find our strength returned, and so we have no time for idle conversation. We must drink and rejoice. Aren't we forgetting something? Hush, listen. The song of ancient wood. Is it not sweet? 
sweet. Definitely. Yeah. The baby's probably ready to boogie down as well. The baby. Oh, the egg. Thank the Earth. We almost forgot. Uh oh. You know, if you could do that with your roots, couldn't you have done that right after the brook changed course so we wouldn't have had to go through any of this? Oh well. What? What was that? Uh oh. It is you. You have come. You know me? April. Daughter. I have been waiting for you. Waiting? Why? Because it begins here, with you, as it always has. What do you mean? The breach and the mending. The pain and the joy. The end of the old and the dawn of the new. A different world. I am the mother of what is. But you, you are the mother of a future that may yet be. How will I know? How will I know what to do? I will guide you, and I will protect you as much as I can. But in the end, you are on your own. I'm afraid. You always were, my child, my daughter. And that didn't sound good. This is probably not a good thing. Right there with you. Anyway, this is the end of the prologue, so I'm going to fade out after this, and we're going to go into the main game in the next session. So until then, I am Dennis, I am Ken's Tablet of Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.